All right, we're up to number seven now, and we're going to introduce the distributive property, right? So if you notice before, we were always following distributive property first, um, then like terms on each side, okay? And then after like terms on each side, you wanted to put the numbers on one side and the letters on one side. So in that case, let's just put, um, I'm going to put that as S. So that means we're trying to focus on making sure the sides are either all letters or all numbers. And then after that, it's going to be multiply, divide to get one. So we're going to say DLS1, okay, DLS1. That'll be our acronym that we'll use to memorize the steps. Distributive property, like terms, make sure the numbers and letters are on one side, and then we multiply or divide to get one of the variable. So let's, let's use that in the process. First thing, I recognize the distributive property because there's a number right next to a parentheses. There's no sign in between. And there's more than one term in here. I can tell that because I have the addition sign. So that means the negative three is going to be multiplied by the X and the negative three is going to be multiplied by the positive two. So we're going to bring down the six and then we're going to have negative three X. Then we're going to have also negative three times positive two. To emphasize uh, what's going on there, this same negative three is getting multiplied here and here. And then the X comes down and the two comes down. So from here, let's see what happens. Still bring down our six. Our negative three X remains as is. And then negative three times two is going to give us minus six. Cool. So we took care of the distributive property. Bang. Next is like terms. Do I have any like terms on this side? You're right, no. This one has an X, this one doesn't. Do I have any like terms on the other side? Yeah, you're right, it doesn't. Because this is only one thing by itself. Next is sides. I'm going to get all the numbers on one side. I got a minus six here. If I want to move it, I got to move it to addition and subtraction. So that's going to be plus six here, plus six here. This cancels. Negative 3x comes straight down. And then over here, we get 12. So I got 12 equals to negative 3x. And then from here, we'll divide again. Because we're going to see, hey, if I want to get 1 of x and I got negative 3, since this is multiplied by x, I do the inverse, which is division. Now, negative 4 equals 2x, and that's it. Let's try another one. I see it's the distributive property again because I got a 3 next to a parentheses, so it's going to multiply to each term. Terms are always separated by addition and subtraction, and then we're going to write out DLS1, okay? So first, distributive property. I'm going to get negative three times four R, and then I'm going to get negative three times the negative eight or the minus eight equals to negative 36. So I'm literally just distributing. Each term inside gets that negative three. So this is going to give me negative 12 R, and this is going to give me plus 24 equals to negative 36. Okay, now from here, I'm looking for like terms. I did my distributive property. I'm looking for like terms. No like terms on this side. No like terms on that side. Okay, we're done. So then now I want to get all my numbers on one side. This plus 24, I want to bring it to join that. But to do that, I must do the inverse operation. So plus inverse of addition is subtraction. I'm minusing 24 on both sides. This cancels. I'm left with negative 12R equals to, and then negative and negative, you can plug this into your calculator, six and four is 10, one, we're gonna get negative 60. So I got negative 12 R equals to negative 60. Just bring up the same thing. And then from here, if it's multiplied by R, we gotta do the inverse, we divide in. R equals to five. Let's do one more together, and then I'll let you just practice. Nine, again, D, L, 
S1. Distributive property like terms, numbers and letters on the same side, multiply, divide to get one. Okay. And just for extra emphasis, plus or minus you're doing here, multiplication of division is what you're doing here in this step. So distributive property first. I do see that parentheses. I got 24 equals to six times negative X. Okay. And then I'm going to put plus six times minus three. So I'm going to have 24 equals to negative 6x. And then we're going to have minus 18. Got it. Cool. Now from here, okay, I'm looking on both sides. I recognize I don't have no like terms here, no like terms there. But if I did, I would have combined them. Now I want to get things on the same side. I noticed that I have a number here and a number here. Let me bring the numbers to that side since the x is on this side. The inverse of subtraction is going to be you got it. Always make sure the sides are separated by the equal sign. This is canceled. I'm going to bring down my minus 6x. And then 8 and 4 is 12. I put a 1 up there, and I get 42. Now, last but not least, um, I'm up to getting 1 of x, or 1 of the variable. Since it's multiplied, I do the inverse again. I divide. So from here, we're going to get negative 7 equals 2x. Once you are here, your next step is going to be go ahead and practice a few. Um, you do have the answers to this packet, so use the answers that you have. Do number 10, check the answer. Do number 11, check the answer, and keep moving. All right, I'll see you in the next video.